Yo. What's up? Hi, can I help you? Don't look surprised, come on. I know you were just reading that book and you were like, oh, there's a guy, I hope he comes and picks me up. I'm just gonna pretend I'm reading this book and he'll think I'm really smart. And here I am. Is this it's your lucky day. Is this a shtick? Are you trying to be a funny? Stick. It's, well, it's, I mean, it's a happy moment for you because I've oh come and talked to you. I can't tell if you're joking. You? No, not at all. I mean, there you are, blonde hair, short dress. Nice, by the way. Okay, first of all, I don't need to explain my choices to you. You're trash. So why don't you just go? Well, that's one option, and I do like feisty girls, so maybe we could go oh, together. Oh, God. Well, I actually have a You've boyfriend. You've got a little bit of spirit. You've got a boyfriend. I've got a boyfriend. Boyfriend? He's, he's like your gay best friend that you go shopping with. No, he is like my boyfriend who wouldn't like you. I don't need him to like me as long as you like me. I don't like and you. You do like me. I don't. Really, you're very offensive. And even if I didn't have a boyfriend, this would never happen because Look, you're truly a disgusting human being. Well, you know, that's one opinion, but I it's know it's my not opinion, true. and it's the only opinion that matters in regards to how this progresses. You're going to change your mind, trust me. I'm We're not. just going to spend a bit more time together. You don't know more about my mind than I do, I can assure you. Well, look, your boyfriend's not here, and you're gonna like He's... me, trust me, everyone likes me. I don't like you. I already know. I know. You so, will. I won't. You will. Really, I, I'm just trying to read, and you're... Trying to read? I'm... Come on. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> not this, not this oh again. Oh my god, okay. No, seriously, this... It's not funny. You're offensive. And I think you would have better luck with someone else. I have lots it's... of good luck with I'm everyone. I'm sure you do. Yeah. Like you have ruined any chance that... That would be with me. Listen, it's not about my chance, it's about your chance, and today's your lucky day. So put the book down. What's your name? Let's get to know each other. Richard. Richard, let me tell you something. On my lucky day, yeah, on my worst day, today, I can do better than you. So I'm, unlikely, I'm just, I'm not interested. Unlikely. I think that an unemployed homeless man would be an okay choice between the two of you. Well, I'm unemployed. I'm not surprised. But I have a home. Oh, <laughs> well. Aren't you special? Okay, now put the book down, let's, you know. Really? Really, you uh, should go. My boyfriend will not like you. Boyfriend? What, he's coming, he's coming here? Yeah, he'll be here. We're, on, we're going on a date, actually. Is he a little midget that I can just pick up and... No, he's like a, a football player, American football. Or uh, men are men. They're bigger than the English football guys, mm -hmm. I guess. Look, I guess I'll go, but look, I'm going to leave you my business card. I don't so want it. I know that now you don't want it, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, I'll leave it now and you won't call me now. No. But one night when you're at home, feeling a little bit randy, maybe touching yourself. Oh my God. And your God. boyfriend's Seriously. out of town. You boyfriend's need to just out of go. Town. Just... Yeah, yeah, I'll go now. And yeah, you, call you need me. to go. Call me when he's out of town and you're feeling, you know, a little bit uh, freaky. Oh my God. And I'll come around and... You just go. Yeah, I'm going. Just so go. So call me. No. See ya. Now that was funny, of course, and in the game, definitely, and you should carry on choosing funny choices. However, in real life, bear in mind the overall concept that when you approach a woman, you should be trying to brighten up her day, make her feel good, give her some, you know, interesting feelings. And by being very aggressive, obviously you're doing the opposite and it's really bad karma. Hey. Hi. What you got there? A book. I don't know. What's the show me the cover? Ah, that one. Have you read it? He dies in the end. Yeah, he does. Sorry to spoil it. I've actually read it before. Oh, you read it before? So you like it that much? You're reading it again? Well, I read it in, when I was a lot younger, and I don't know if I understood it, so I thought that's I should reread it. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Anyway, my name's Richard. Brenna. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. This is a playful opener. Again, it can work if you deliver it correctly. Uh, maybe she'll look confused at the worst, but you can still carry it on. And so it's, it's actually got a very high chance of success.
You know, I like your hair. It's nice color oh. and long. Thank you. But just one thing, I think it would look really, really good if, if maybe you, you washed it and conditioned it and Excuse stuff. Excuse me. You know, like get some shampoo, some, some conditioner, nice, nice brand, you know, and just mm -hmm. use that in the morning. So it, it would look lustrous. Well, that is a helpful tip. Like mine. I will. Lustrous. Yes, I will. Listen, it just so happens that I live quite nearby and I've got this, um, what is it? You know, Aveda, very nice shampoo. Never heard so of it. So you could come back and I'll wash your hair. You know, like they do when you go for a haircut and you kind of lean back and, but actually in the shower, obviously, because I don't know if that seat, but I can wash your hair really nice. I've got this great Aveda, it's all natural, organic. And Are whatever. you inviting me to your house to wash my hair? Yeah, it'd be great. I want to see what it looks like. I've got hair dryer, This is a hair first, brush. a first for me. But very close though. I'm sure it's, it's tempting. But, of course. But no. No? I'm, I'm going to pass. Hmm. A hard pass. Well, I mean, we can do it another day. No, so I, I think I'm just going to have a hard pass indefinitely. Uh, I don't really understand that hard pass indefinitely, but I guess it means that you want to meet me again soon. So I'm going to take your number because I see you've got a phone. I'll call your phone now and see it ring so that I make sure it's the right number. And then we can meet another day. This is actually my phone that I use in foreign countries, so it's got the wrong SIM in it, the wrong SIM card. I'm sorry. I'm really, it's really difficult to get in touch with me. Um, I could give you my SIM and then call my number from Skype and we meet tomorrow. I don't think so. I'm sorry. No? No. All right, well, you know, we'll meet again, right? If it's meant to be, Maybe. then we will bump into each if other. If it's meant to be. Who knows where, who knows when. Fair we enough. We'll meet again. Okay, so that's one of my favorite moments in the game. And, you know, it does show a good positive trait, which is persistence. And in reality, maybe she would have broken and started laughing and actually liked you. But there's a point where you need to say, okay, I respect this girl. She said no to me, you know, 22 times. So I think that's enough. I'm going to leave it there. And I'm going to say, you know what, I'm going to go now. But just wanted to say, you know, you're wonderful. You're, you're lovely. And it was a pleasure to meet you. Bye bye. Have a good day. And you go. And that's it. That way you're leaving in a nice gentlemanly way, creating a bit of a better impression. So try and aim for that. Although, you know, it's one of my favorite choices, like I said. Actually, I like audiobooks as well. Do you like oh. audiobooks? Yeah. Because sometimes I'm in, you know, I'm in my car, um, one of my cars. If I'm in, like, the Lambo, it's cool. I like audiobooks normally, I don't know, like psychology or something like that. Mm -hmm. If I'm chilling in the roles, then I want something more, I don't know, maybe inspirational. I'm kind of leaning back, maybe drinking some champagne or something because it's got a little fridge. And maybe I want something more, yeah, like inspirational, like a biography of some legendary person or something like that. And I guess, you know, when I'm at home, I've got like the surround system in every room. Um, how many rooms? I don't know, 16 rooms or something like that. So I can have the audiobook like tracking to every room that I'm in. And when I'm home, I don't know, yeah, maybe a novel or something in, in one of the jacuzzis or um, underwater speakers in the swimming pool, listen to audiobooks there as well. So, so yeah, I, I really love audiobooks, they're great. I see that. That's a, a lot of information. Very interesting. Of course. Yeah. This is great. Actually, you know, it's quite funny. So it's just so dumb it might work if you didn't actually mean it. So uh, much better to keep the attention focused on her, not be going off on any kind of monologue, especially one that is showing off. So how are you able to be free in the middle of the morning on a Thursday? Um, well, I do have a job, but it's, it's kind of from the laptop, from home or, or from anywhere. But um, say like internet stuff and with America. So in Europe, I need to wait until they wake up and whatever. So right. I'm, I'm kind of free. And yeah. then can be working at home, lying in bed, mm -hmm. lying on the balcony, <laughs> generally lying down, working. <laughs> that's <laughs> so nice. That's cool. And how about you? How come you're not at work. No. Well, I have, I'm a, I work at the university, so I have kind of an unusual schedule. I have some free time during the day and I work in the evenings. Mm. Nice. Yeah.
Hmm, so what do you teach in the university? Let me go. So, blonde hair. Oh, careful. No, no, no. It's going somewhere nice. Sexy outfit and heels. Uh -huh. I'm going to say you teach, uh, like, sex ed, something like that. Not close. No? No. Well, come on. Look, look at you. You're not teaching, you know, ancient history or something, are you? Just all like this, sexy and whatever. So you're suggesting I'm dumb? Dumb to teach sex? It's very valuable for children these days. You know, safe sex, not having sex or whatever you teach. Or what do you teach in sex? Oh, my gosh. I am... Um... Not that you, you can teach should. me anything. Oh, okay. But I could, maybe Would I you, could will you have some just ideas. leave? I think uh, this, is, this is very uncomfortable. Hmm. Well, look, when it comes to sex, not to kind of blow my own trumpet, as they say, um, but I do know quite a lot. Oh. I'm very yeah. experienced. I uh, Years. Sure you are. Years and years. Supermodels, whatever. Okay. Lots of experience. So maybe we could meet and I give you some of my ideas or, or better yet, show you. <laughs> no. No. Just just leave. When you say no, do you mean yes or...? I mean no. No always means no. No like no. No like you should leave right. Not bad meaning good like Michael Jackson. No or... like I'm thinking about calling the police. Okay, well look. It's lovely meeting you. I do have to go, and actually, I've I've got you another could. another girl to meet. I Great. was only being friendly. I didn't yeah. actually want to date I'm you. I'm sure just, she's I a just, treat. She's wonderful. Don't I worry, bet. but um, cool. Maybe see you at the university. I'll pop in for the the sex class. Uh huh. Not that I need it. <laughs> okay, so the real life lesson here is not to take things too sexual too quickly. Uh, it really, 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 really works. If it does work, it's when she's drunk in a bar. Definitely not in the daytime when she's reading Kafka. You teach at university? Yeah. Mm. You know, I, I didn't go. Didn't go to university. I, I never liked school. And I thought it was just a, like a waste of time, university, because Think about it, you work for those three or four years and then you've got experience and you probably earn more money than the people that went to university and there's not really much point to it. So it's kind of a waste of time, isn't it, university? It depends on the person. I think there are quite a few people that agree with you. Yeah, generally. Generally, generally people agree with me. Most generally. Things, well, I don't yeah. know if I would say most people, but there are people who are group. successful without university. For sure. Yeah, but that's not saying you're, you know, it's pointless what you do or anything. It's, I'm oh. sure it's still. No, I'm, so, I'm sure it's still good. Mm -hmm. It's cool. I think I think what I do is important. It's good that you think it's important. That's important for a job. Okay. No, really, yeah. I mean it because it's good a lot that I of people think that it's do. Important. It's good that you think that what you're doing is worthwhile because like so that many I'm people. Deluded. No, no, no. Like, um, no. If you believe it, then it comes true. Like the secret. So in that sense. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So that's cool. Yeah. Although if done kind of playfully, it might be okay. It's probably not the best time to be um, insulting and teasing. So not the best option. And what's your subject? What do you teach? American culture. Huh. What, what does that entail? So kind of a lot, quite a few different themes, for example, we kind of started with an overview of American values, which was really interesting. Like um, freedom and stuff, yeah? Things like that, and even more so, for example, an interesting one is how Americans relate to the future. Like it's something we feel like we can control in some sense. And like Back to the Future, the movie. Mm, I don't see how, I don't know what you mean. Okay, but Americans think that they're de they control their own destiny, yeah. kind of, yeah? The thing is, I'm a little bit sceptical. I don't know, it's strange that there's even a subject about it, because American culture, couldn't you teach that in like, I don't know, half a day or something? American culture? Like you invented what, a burger and a donut and... The internet. That was in Europe? No. Yeah, it was. It was some no, it Norwegian was, dude or English Navy. guy, probably. No. Pretty sure. I'm sure you're wrong. I'm going to check that. Using, Go ahead. I'll, I'll use the internet that was will invented use, in Europe. Will you use Google? Google was from Stanford University, yeah. That was 
well done, you made a page with a box and you can <laughs> search. So that's the, but that's not really culture, that's technology. Okay, okay, fair enough. No, we do have a, a pretty, I would say we have a rich culture. There's a lot of different cultures that have influenced well, us. Who was American? Michelangelo, Da Vinci, were they American? Well, you're being a little Eurocentric right now. Who was American? Let me think. Charles Dickens, Shakespeare? They American? Who else? Charles Dickens is really overrated, frankly. Hmm. Very overrated, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm. But who, like, what culture, America? I don't know, I'm drawing a blank, basically. Oh, you can't think of any American authors. Well, I can. What's that uh, Grapes of Wrath guy? What's Steinbeck. George Steinbeck, yeah. He wrote two mediocre books, but... I mean, of course there's writers. Yeah. But I mean, why, why is culture only encompassed within classic art? You tell me, but it is. I disagree. I don't think it is. I think that's a very English perspective. I'm, I'm not saying what you teach is useless. It's mm -hmm. just maybe you could teach someone else. <laughs> oh. but that's cool. Well, it's a subject, so All right. it's pretty valuable. Yeah. I so mean, that people don't say offensive things to Americans like this. Okay, well, I mean, you'll tell me more and I'll get to know, maybe you'll teach me, but mm -hmm. I mean, I do like donuts, so that's one thing America. We've done that. Big win there, mm -hmm. so that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll tell them you said so. Although if done kind of playfully, it might be okay. It's probably not the best time to be um, insulting and teasing, so not the best option. I really enjoy my job, but there is this one little thing that's very frustrating for me. I've got this problem where I can't print all the copies that I need, and but I want my students to all have their own copy to take home, but then I have to go to the printer like every day and it gets kind of expensive. So what do you think I should do? Ah, well, that's bad. So I guess you don't have enough like papers for the students and stuff. Yeah, yeah that's part of it. Mm. I guess you can ask for more allowance or get them to share. But yeah, it's annoying. Mm -hmm. Well done. You weren't distracted by the sexy chick that walked by. And that's something that, you know, you can use out there. Well done for paying attention and getting the right response. So you've got your teaching thing. And what else is important in your life? What else do you love to do? I really love dogs and I love to travel. Travel? Yeah. That's cool. Do you travel a lot? I've traveled quite a bit these last couple of years especially. Nice. And where are some places you've been? Uh, in Europe I've been in Prague, Russia, Ukraine, uh, Poland, Lithuania, Latvia. Nice. All, all of Eastern Europe and yeah. kind of former USSR, yeah? Yes. Nice. And tell me, what's the absolute best place you've seen? Like, if people who have never travelled anywhere say, where's the best place that I should see? Where is it? I would actually say it, that you should go to the United States and go see the Grand Canyon. It's amazing. I can't do it justice with words, but it's wonderful. Okay. Grand Canyon, but isn't that like just some big empty hole in the ground? That is what it is, yeah. but it's it, very picturesque. They don't have nightclubs there, do they? No, it's more of a natural. How fast the Wi-Fi? I think they probably would have cell coverage in some parts. Yeah, 4G, LTE. Maybe. I don't know. I'll check it out. I mean, it's quite far and it's it's nature. Nature's kind of boring, right? Like yeah, if you don't like nature, it's probably... Vegas, lights, action, whatever. Grand Canyon, hole in the ground, slow Wi-Fi stuff. No, I don't know. What? Well, your description is not inaccurate, but if you, if you don't appreciate nature, it probably would be boring. Yeah, I don't really. More of a city guy, but that's, that's cool. People are different, right? Yeah. You know, some people like trees and some people like chopping them down and building apartment blocks. So. True. It's all right. Mm -hmm. This is being stupid and negative. You know why it's wrong. Oh, should I say that? No. Oh. I've run out of things to say.
You know, I hate awkward silences, but the good thing is that's only because we don't know each other too well, so we won't have any when we're great friends, right? Yeah, hopefully. This is not an absolute rule, but in most cases it's correct, so well done. Can you tell me some things you'd like to do for fun? Well, since I, as long as I can remember, I've always loved playing volleyball, so that's oh, something okay. I try to do whenever I can. Nice. I mm -hmm. played it at school, they had yeah. it in my school, but since then I didn't. But they play, I go to Barcelona a lot and they play on the beach. Mm -hmm. Do you play beach volleyball? I will, yeah. Oh, very in a nice. Pinch. Are you very good? Yeah. You can do that where you jump and smash sure. it down. Cool. Yeah. That's nice. It's harder on the beach because the nets are higher. But yeah. Very cool. Yeah, it's a cool hobby. And anything else you do? Yeah, I probably the thing I do the most is study Russian for hobbies. Russia? Mm-hmm. And Russian, that's... That's kind of weird, to be honest. I mean, can you pick like a better country or better language? Well, I know that, I mean, there's certainly the people sometimes think that maybe Europe is more interesting or safer or something, but I've spent a lot of time in Russia and well, it's, it's wonderful. Well, I mean, look at Putin. He goes around invading everywhere, blowing stuff up. Look at Putin all is these just one facet of a very complicated place. Lots of vodka, bears, snow. Isn't it just like a desolate wasteland full of no, horrible people? it's really not. The people are wonderful. There is some issues with alcohol. One foot gold digging and beating people up, isn't it? You need to get out of... If you go beyond Moscow, I think you would find in the small towns, people are really pleasant. A peasant or pleasant? Pleasant. It sounds... It's wonderful. Sounds disastrous. And also, look at their... I mean, they have literary giants, Dostoevsky. He's amazing. Yeah, Some he was, people like Tolstoy. He was pretty good, but look at all the politics and stuff. I mean, what are you, like a communist or something? No, I'm not a communist. And actually, neither... You don't love freedom and Ameri the American way and all that? Russia is, is not a communist country. No, but it's like a... I mean, how long has Putin been in power? Like 100 years or something, you know? And he used to be the boss of the KGB. It's just a... Yeah, FSB. Yeah. Well, I think if you can separate yourself at all from one aspect. You don't have to like everything about a culture to appreciate it. So you, you study Russian, you like Russia, but you're not evil, is what you're telling That's me. That's what I'm telling you. Okay. And neither are they. I give you the benefit of the doubt. Thank you. The lesson here is to try and be empathetic. So if someone's taken the time to study Russian, why don't you find out why, right? It takes a lot of effort, a lot of energy. It's a lot harder than other subjects. So before you judge, Try and listen a little bit and you might learn something. Ruski, ja tože gavrio. Kašna? Da. Učin harašo, konečno. Atkuda ti znaješ? Ah, prosto, prosto. I um I speak many languages as well, not only Russian. Wo khoi shou idea jungwen, Chinese. Oh wow. Ching shou la ma. Ni hao piao liang. Yeah. What else do I speak? Um, Japanese. Watashi wa ni hongo ga wagaremasu ka? Japanese. Subarashi. Um, what else? Arabic. Um, Salamu alaikum, Habibi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This. Um, German. Yeah, German. Got quite good German. Been a while. Uh, schnell, schnell, los. Show me your papers. Like this. Uh, hablo espanol. Hablo. Yeah. Hablo is girl. Hablo, man. Um, y italiano. Eh, hey, que cazzo, eh? Finocchio, eh? Aren't those just cuss words? No, no. Um, no. Uh, but I speak, I speak those as well. But cool. Basically, I speak most languages. There's just, you know, when they have like this tribe in the Amazon and they don't, they don't meet the outside world or they communicate with clicks and whistles. Uh, I'm not so good with those, oh, but well. otherwise, pretty much every language I can speak. So wow, yeah, you should. Uh, if you like languages, then you're the hot ticket. I'm the man. Okay. And many other things, but languages. Mm hmm. hmm. Okay, cool. Um, that's nice. 
but um, again, it's always better to keep the conversation focused on her. It's an interesting subject, right? There's a lot to say about it. She's got a lot of feelings, a lot of things that she could tell you about it. Why not use that as an opportunity to connect rather than talking about yourself now? You could wait until she actually asks you, which she logically might if you give her the chance. I noticed you have an accent. Do you mind if I ask where you're from? Uh, England, actually. Whereabouts? Um, was born in London, but actually, you know what, when I was when I was young, I, I lived in South London and they have a strong accent there. It's like South, South London and things like this. But um, because I traveled a lot and I moved, I've lost most of my accent. But do I still sound British to you? Yes, very much. Oh, that's good. It's funny you should ask me about my accent because mm -hmm. girls just go crazy for it. <laughs> Do they really? Yeah, I'm, maybe you are a bit now, but we'll get to that later. But yeah, just everywhere I go, I go, oh my God, are you British in America or in, I don't know, Brazil, everywhere? Say tomato, say tomato, say this. And then they just don't have to do anything, can talk about the most boring subject and the girls just, you know, like this. So yeah, just girls want to sleep with me based on the accent. When I try, in England they don't, but... You know, when I travel, they really do. So that's why I travel, to be honest. Just uh, get laid a lot. Gross. That's my accent. That's very gross. Very lucky. Lucky. Hmm. Proud to be British because of that mainly. So if you want me to say, you know, some, some stuff, tomato, potato, or whatever you say, um, with my English accent, tomato. How does that make you feel? Does I feel nothing. You, does it make you randy? Oh my God. You like it? No, I'm sorry, that's... I don't fetishize the British accent. So. Oh, sorry. what? What accent do you like then? I wouldn't... I don't fetishize any accent. Ugh, that's a bit boring, because I, I can do French accent and, you know, a few other accents. No, sorry. Waste, you're telling me it's wasted on you? It's wasted. So I need Solidly to get wasted. you wasted, is the way. <laughs> or something else, yeah. Okay. <laughs>